welcome. We are here in the OpenJet facility. Um, we're testing our thermal management system. Um, we uh, have, of course, the fuel cell on our uh, hydrogen electric aircraft. However, the fuel cell gives 50% uh, uh, power and 50% heat. And the heat needs to be cooled. Uh, so we have our thermal management system. And the radiators in the nose play a big part of it. Uh, they actually cool the system. And we're testing them here um, in the wind tunnel. Uh, you can see our beautiful setup here. It is a nose with an afterbody. And uh, the radiators are in there. Uh, we are testing the radiators, but not at flying conditions because the wind tunnel only goes up to 30 meters per second. So what we're doing is we're validating our uh, computational fluid dynamics model. Um, this computational model will give us the actual performance at cruise conditions. Uh, and now we're testing to validate this model. Um, when it all uh, goes right, the uh, nose in the, on the actual aircraft should look like this, um, with of course some uh, improvements. Here you see our uh, nose. And the thermal management system here uh, consists of three uh, parts. You have uh, the cowling, the ducts, and in there are uh, the radiators, of course. They were all designed uh, by us during this year and it uh, took up uh, quite some time. Um, and now we're testing them. Um, yeah, they were designed together to uh, make the ducts of the radiators perform as good as possible. Um, the the cowling we made ourselves uh, from glass fiber, uh, did a layup on it. The ducts are 3D printed and uh, the radiators are manufactured by a company called PWR. Um, the, you can see that uh, it doesn't fit perfectly together. Um, the ducts are perfect because they're 3D printed by an external company, but the cowling has uh, some improvements that we uh, have to do uh, for the actual aircraft. Um, however, this does look uh, like how it's supposed to um, and it gives a general outline of the shape uh, of how it's supposed to be in the uh, actual aircraft. So a uh, wind tunnel test is very nice, um, but the problem is it's quite hard to measure wind. Um, you can't see it, uh, of course. But we came up with a couple of solutions for that. First of all, you see the pressure rake here in front of the, the inlet, the uh, big radiator. And it measures the static and total pressure uh, at those points. Um, we can uh, get a view of the velocity field uh, before the inlet with that. Uh, we can actually move it with an uh, actuator. Um, so we move it along the inlet uh, to get the velocities at all those points. Um, there's also a pressure rake inside the cowling, behind uh, the radiator. Um, furthermore, we have a pitot tube here to measure the uh, flow conditions coming out of the wind tunnel. Um, we have tufts, um, which is really nice. Uh, it gives some uh, real-time visual view of what is happening uh, there. Um, but that's not all. We also have a thermal camera up here, uh, which gives uh, nice data about the radiator. It gives uh, performance of uh, sections of the radiator because it shows the radiator and uh, how warm uh, the surface is. And by looking at that, we saw already in the early stages of testing that some uh, parts of the radiator are hotter than others. So uh, what we can conclude from that is that some parts of the radiator are radiating more heat and thus performing better than other parts and we can use that to optimize our system. Um, furthermore, we also have pressure measurements, uh, uh, mass flow measurements and uh, temperature measurements in our uh, coolant system. Uh, and we have thermal couples in the air uh, behind uh, the big radiator. Um, and this uh, gives a nice indication of how much uh, the uh, parts, how much the air is heated up um, after the radiator. And what I found uh, really amazing is that the air heats up quite a lot. If you have your uh, coolant uh, temperature of around uh, 80 degrees, then your air will heat up to around 60 degrees. So um, actually a lot of heat is transferred to the air. Uh, so that means that it works really well. And uh, that's of course uh, nice to know. Um, 
Yeah, so that's how we're testing, basically. 